What is going on you guys? It's your favorite local Austin realtor and I'm back out here exploring Texas for you guys. That way you guys can see what new communities are popping up, what new homes are out here. So today we're actually in Easton Park. Easton Park is a fairly new community. They've been here for about a year now. So we're actually going to be looking at a Perry home today. So Perry and this community, they have six floor plans with the price range from 800 to 950. They do have tons of inventory and some of their inventory that can sell by the end of the year have a huge discounts. So if you're looking for a quick close and a home that is absolutely stunning that you will absolutely be happy with my contact information will be down below along with those two links i always talk about about resale and new construction so if you need somewhere to start but you know that you're ready to buy well go ahead and check out those links and actually see what's around you what type of homes prices etc but all right guys let's get into it and i'll see you guys at easton park All right guys, so we're here at Easton Park and behind me is plan 3491E. So as I mentioned before, they have six floor plans. Prices range from 800 to 950. So let me flip this camera around that way you guys can check out the street view a little bit and I'll talk about a little, little bit about the home as well. And here she is, plan 3491E, elevation 70. As you can see, this has stucco and a beautiful grayish color with that black trim on the windows there. So here's the street view. As far as amenities goes, it has trail, um, walking trails, has a gorgeous amenity center that has tons of stuff that you can do, pools, conference rooms that you can rent out, a big gym in there. So it's very modern and all the things that you can actually need. So if you want more information about that, just reach out to me. Right away, you're gonna notice that lime green door. It's a beautiful yet large lime green door. Let's go inside, let's go check it out. So by the way, you can see those high ceilings, that beautiful chandelier. And when we look down, you're gonna see that they have beautiful tile, a beautiful grout as well. Now, as soon as we look left here, we have our study. walking here that way you can get an idea of how big the space actually is. It has its own window right there, provides that natural light. And as far as the garage goes, it, it is a three car garage. So of course, you'd have your mudroom here and this would be closed off. All right, now let's walk in here. We'll actually touch base on some of the bedrooms here in a bit. So you're going to notice again high ceilings. Let's say they're about 20 feet high. You have lots of natural lighting. Your gorgeous living room here. Then we have our kitchen there. So, as far as windows go, that sliding door is an option. You actually have an option to actually install that. You have an option to put a fireplace there on the corner or there in the middle where the TV is as well. So you can either have 12 windows like the ones you see on top, or you can you can install that sliding door, which is a plus if you have this extended patio. So you'll only get that sliding door if you have this extended patio. But again, if you love natural light, then not getting the extended patio and getting those 12 windows would definitely benefit you more. Let's walk into our dining room area here. Again, you still have large windows, a great view to the backyard. So if you do have kids that are always constantly playing outside or any dogs, any animals, you can definitely keep an eye on them no matter where you're at. As far as the kitchen goes, well, you have that black cabinets, you have your upgraded countertops, upgraded appliances. You have your gas stove top as well. Beautiful backsplash and you have those cabinets that go all the way to the ceiling. Definitely lots of storage space as well. 
Let's walk into our patcher here. Good amount of space. Here are the appliances, microwave and oven. Again, lots of space. Gorgeous open floor plan. And here we have our more of a formal dining area as well. Whether it's for holiday events or you can even make it into a little another game room for yourself. Alright, now let's go check out the first bedroom that's actually on the first floor, which is your guest suite. So this is the laundry area right here as well. It is in the first floor. And you do have access to it through your master closet, of course. But we'll go in there right now, not just yet. But yes, you do have built in storage space right there. And just the right here, you do have your powder room. Loading cabinets and this right here would typically you can make it anything you want to be with but it would be perfect for a guest suite in law suite whatever it is you want to make it and of course we have our closet to the right there and we have its own bathroom to the left so most of these closets you are going to see today that they are all walk-in closets so you definitely have plenty of space, whether it's a guest that's staying for the weekend or if it's your in-laws that are living with you. So definitely, they'll definitely feel at home. It won't feel cluttered. You have your mud pan, you have that upgraded tile that goes all the way to the ceiling as well. All right, let's walk back out next stop is going to be the master bedroom boom right here the magic happens lots of natural light and look at all this these three windows right here on the bottom they're actually are operational course just from the bottom half here not all the way up but they do slide up again lots of space the cool thing too you have this modern barn door so it definitely adds it just adds a great look to it more modern feel so right here you have its own a tub, of course. So sometimes you typically don't get a tub that looks like that with a shower like this, but look at this. Look at this shower. You have two heads, one coming straight from the top and another, ring, and another shower head right there. Gorgeous tile on the mud pan. And we have a his and hers vanity, vanities. You have your own space there as well. And just in here, we do have a toilet. Now let's walk into the master closet. Built-in cabinets there. No, this isn't it, by the way. That was just one closet. It's actually a his and hers closet as well. Now, let's 
let's go ahead and check out this quick storage space right outside your master bedroom and right away let's go upstairs more of a modern look as far as the staircase go you, you normally there normally builds their staircase with a rotunda but here we have a simple staircase check out the bottom here it's a great view and here we have our game room I always love all these light fixtures that they put in them. Yes, that's my bougie part right there. I love light fixtures. So all the homes, they do come standard with a game room and a media room, which is a big plus for those who love to entertain and have people over. first bedroom here to the left and you have your storage space right at the door as well and just to the right here we have our bathroom of course and with the bathroom here upstairs with the two bed and with the two bedroom upstairs, we have that Jack and Jill style bathroom. So they both share a shower and toilet. Here's the closet. Again, lots of space, great walk-in closets. You have that upgraded tile in the shower. second bedroom up here Let's check out his closet space this one has a bigger closet Let's go check out downstairs again. Let's go check out that backyard. Just a great view. Great plan all together. Lots of space. All right, now let's go check out the backyard couple of things I'm gonna I'm actually gonna point out in the backyard as well so as I did mention before this is the extended patio this is an option you don't have to get it definitely adds it's definitely a lot more space so again if you do entertain with people a lot if you love having people over this would definitely be a good option for you but you don't necessarily need to have it Put the camera right here that way you guys can see how it looks from the from the outside but if you don't want the extended patio again you won't have the glass sliding door you will just have those large windows you'll have 12 of those and your patio will actually be right where the glass door ends right here so this would be your patio And as far as landscaping packages go, this would be all grass, horse full sod. You know, this whole little walkway here, 
it's just for model purposes only but it can actually give you an idea of what you can do with your home with your backyard they actually have and all their homes will be on 60 foot lots so you have tons of space to play with whether it's you make a walkway yourself do a third party put a bonfire pit or just a table some lawn chairs whatever the case may be but this is a great setup here all right but that is it so again we're here in Easton Park and this was a Perry home 3491E elevation 70 so if you guys love the home if you, well, if you guys have more questions about it about whether it's specs whether it's what inventory they have available any any details about the home about the community about the tax rate um, earnest money etc any of that my contact information will be down below again along with those two links to get you started on your home search so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i appreciate you guys love and support don't forget to like subscribe before you guys leave and share with your friends but again like i always mention if you guys ever have any community or any particular city that you guys want to see more of let me know down in the comments and i'll make sure to actually go check it out for you because again i'm here for you and i'm here to be at value to you and to explore that way you guys know and see what's out here in texas and the possibilities out here that way hopefully one day you know you guys move out here and you guys allow me to be your resource but all right guys you guys stay cool out there you guys have a good one and i'll see you guys in the next one